uh, a significant thing happens mm. also at that time, mm. you come and propose in Mombasa. <laughs> you took a whole night bus, guy, child. <laughs> <laughs> Did I really? <laughs> Did I? No, no, sorry. Uh -huh. Really? Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, <laughs> I, I, yeah, I don't even remember how we had started that conversation. Yeah. But you're coming to propose for me to be your girlfriend. Mm. And that was so confusing because mm. me boys are not anywhere in my plan. Mm. Anywhere in my plan, they mm. ain't. Mm. <laughs> you know? Because <laughs> I, know, I know where I'm going. Mm. Um, so I'm like, okay, let's, and I'm, I mean, you can confess here, right? I'm very logical, mm. more than heart matters, mm. I think. Mm. So I'm like, okay, let's give it a try. Mm. And <laughs> my gosh, 15 years later, here we are, two mm. children mm. and doing a YouTube conversation. <laughs> yes, here we are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so yeah. I think your proposal to Nini book me worked. Yeah, yeah. book you as a friend. <laughs> yeah, we yeah, are. Book me as a friend. Who does that? Like, Friendship in. And I, I remember I was so frustrated <laughs> by that conversation <laughs> because I'm, and I used to put that analogy. It's like you've gone to... Uh, an Indian shop yeah. with this great radio, you have seen it, it's worth 70,000. Yeah. You come, you put a deposit of 5k. Yeah, yeah. Nia K, Ntarudi. Taliban. Taliban. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, so what does that even mean? What does that, yeah. anyway, but uh, yeah. that was a significant time. Right. And then came back to Nairobi. So you are explaining how your pastor. Yeah, so at mm. the time, mm. Mavuno Church mm -hmm. is uh, is opening up mm. and Pastor Kiama has started uh, a conversation, mm. uh, keeping it real. Mm. It's so amazing that now, after that, you can hear everyone mm. having those discussions and mm. forums mm. for young people mm. uh, come and talk. And Kim gave up my time mm. and worked for Mavuno downtown for a solid six, maybe six and a half years. Mm. And always tell God, I did my time, please. Mm. I served you when I was strong and mighty. Mm. <laughs> now, please, mm. don't call me again. Mm. But anyway, he has mm. his own sense of humor because mm. I find myself serving all the time. Mm. I'm grateful for the experience at uh, mm. Mavuno, mm. Mavuno downtown specifically, mm. because I learned how to nurture mm. resources mm -hmm. and multiply resources. Mm. Um, I remember one of our things was that... Um, uh, services had to be wow mm. you know like when you come to the service mm -hmm. you will have anything whether it's from the worship to whatever mm. to even end of offering or closing prayer mm. where you live with that one thing that will keep you going maybe for the rest of your life but mm -hmm. in the course of the week mm. that's something that's making you remember mm. what the sermon was all about mm. uh just <clears throat> being good stewards of mm. people's resources people mm. are giving offering mm. and people are are, are sacrificing mm. you know mm. so just being accountable for that as mm. well mm. it opened an act button on me for being creative mm. uh, riding on social capital mm. <laughs> mm. um little did i know that i was going to spend years later mm. doing the same you know raising funds mm. Uh, mm. uh creating partnership mm. with people corporates how do you do that especially mm. in a in a church in a para church um context where and and i'd like to to get your particular perspective on that now especially as you look back um as a person and i want us to look back at that as a person who's experienced it at the nexus between church development uh advancing social issues but also needing the resources to do that mm -hmm. so because that's what that's what that place is doing. It's you're developing. A church is a is mm. really truly the development center mm. <laughs> because it's advancing social and development mm. issues. Mm. Uh, it's still also advancing spiritual issues, but it needs it requires resources. resources. So you who is there, you know, at a leadership role uh, alongside the rest of the church leadership, what, what what's the psyche of of, of church leaders in that context and what would you as you look back what are the lessons you pick and pull from that and from the experiences that you had first i think we can agree mavuno is not your kawaida church mm -hmm. <laughs> i remember even having conflict with my own family my parents my grandparents mm -hmm. Where I was going to a church that's called Mavuno, you know. Uh, you're already going to harvest, you already saved souls anyway. Mm. But you know, listen to that story made me stick. And when they saw I'm committed to this, mm. 
they allowed me. Mm. So one, a church is not, uh, or rather what I, I, I take, it's not all about spiritual matters. And I don't know what spiritual matters are. I don't know what we can define that. But like Church was saying, there's some development aspect. Mm. So for instance, we realized, because uh, our service was at uh, Okungamano, we had a willing community, a ready community at University of Nairobi. Mm. But these people were not coming for church. Mm -hmm. You know, you'd expect like this hip hype church is coming, mm. but they're not coming for church. Mm. So we sat down and agreed, how about we have a campus ministry? Mm -hmm. And then I reached out to uh, David Dosiani, who is now a cabinet uh, secretary mm -hmm. and was a student leader mm -hmm. at, at the time. Mm -hmm. Cabinet assistant secretary, mm -hmm. is that what? CAS. Yes, yeah, CAS, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, and he was very gracious in his tenure. Mm -hmm. I think that one year, two years, mm -hmm. um, we got to be at one of their main restaurants. Mm -hmm. So we'll bring in a live band. Mm -hmm. uh, Giuliani would appear in some of those things. Mm -hmm. And they started, uh, the students started getting attracted. Mm. So if you were to go for drinking at 6 in the p.m., mm. you'll delay it late until 9 p.m. Mm. But at 9 p.m., you're really tired, you've mm. had a good time. Mm. You would buy the meals mm. for those who could not afford. Mm. And so that was almost uh, a, a what? A low investment, mm. quote unquote, high return mm. because we have a venue, mm. we are not paying for the venue, mm. we are changing lives, we are impacting lives. Mm. So these people will then come and form a small group mm -hmm. and be part of the church, mm. grow, mm. and then go get others mm. and mm. come and, and grow. Yeah, mm. I think one of my success stories, if if that is what I would call it, is now the current pastor at Mavuno downtown. Mm. Uh, Pastor Kevin Kilonzi mm -hmm. comes in as a student from uh, KU, mm. Kenyatta University. Yeah, Kenyatta University. Mm. There's an opportunity to go church plant. I think it was in Zambia. Mm -hmm. He's on a break. I give him a call mm. and ask him, "Hey, are you willing to do this?" Mm. So him and his friend Kelvin mm -hmm. are available, and mm. they go away for X months. Mm. And now here he is mm. leading a church, mm. doing a wonderful uh, job about it, mm. being passionate about young guys oh mm. i need to say he also graduated so mm. it was not just, yeah he graduated <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm. and uh, yeah so so you see we 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 are not just focusing on uh yeah here yeah, it's the word of god mm. um i i know pastor kiama would like when we were close to an election mm. or just uh, uh during what was it um the constitution uh, review, mm. we could have constitution experts mm. come to speak at church, yeah. you know? So you get to know what is also happening in your mm. country. Mm. How are you participating mm. uh, during that time? Mm. So yeah, I had those those moments, mm. inviting corporates. I mm. remember there was a time, so our Sunday school has grown. Mm. So I was leading services. Mm. Sunday school was under my, my jurisdiction mm. as well. I think the marriage ministry, because it was a small church. So mm. I, again, mm. you see the, Resil, the the octopus hands I had at Daystar, mm -hmm. where I was in everywhere, mm -hmm. have come to play now even as I work, yeah, you know? Yeah. So you are and a lean team, so you needed everyone yes, to have to hold uh, different yeah, dockets. Mm. And we reached out to this uh, milk company, mm -hmm. and they give us yogurt mm. for, I think, a whole year before they start giving to us at a subsidized rate. Mm. So what does that mean? Mm -hmm. It means the the children who have not come for service mm. either because of hunger mm. or they can't afford or there's one thing that's bringing you to church mm -hmm. but allowing you an opportunity to listen to mm. god mm. then we realize there's a section mm -hmm. or, uh, um, of people not being taken care of the young moms mm -hmm. and uh, pastor kiama agreed with the plan for let's provide tea and mandazi mm. create a crash for them mm. Uh, so that means even if a mother was tired, she mm -hmm. didn't sleep. Mm -hmm. She'll just come, rest, eat mm -hmm. your tea and mandazi. Mm -hmm. Someone will help you hold your child. Mm -hmm. You listen in to service. So it kept growing. Right. You're touching people at their heart. Mm -hmm. And that's why when I get very frustrated, very angry mm -hmm. when I hear of uh, church leaders, I'm not called them church, mm -hmm. not meeting the heart of the people. Yeah. You're, you're busy telling us about maybe tithing mm. or telling us about building a temple yeah. and what it was during Isaiah's time. Mm. The people around you are suffering, their marriages are suffering, mm. their parenting is suffering. Mm. 
there, touch there is health issues the health issues yeah uh, and many others yeah many other so current I, needs. I remember when uh, our son was small mm. i benefited from the crash mm. so i was here building this thing for those guys mm. Little did I know I'll mm. come and benefit because mm. maybe I'm fatigued. I've not slept mm. a whole night. Mm. There are mattresses that have mm. been put for the babies. Mm. I'll just give my child to someone mm. and I sleep mm. for two hours. Mm. I have been ministered to. Mm. And it's, that works. It's, uh, it's, it's, <laughs> it's addressing felt needs. Yes, uh, yes. Now needs. Na- yes, my yeah. now current need immediately yeah. is that mm. I need rest. I need sleep. Yeah. You know? Mm. And um, yeah, so mm. churches should be. A community. It's a community. It's yeah. a community development center. Yeah, it it, it's true, and yeah. not a clique. Yeah, it's yeah. not for us guys and those yeah. guys. Yeah. No. Yeah. Um. So that again opened me up to mm. amazing people. Mm. Uh. Uh. Conor Moore doing mm. a lot in mm. the development world mm. and, and uh, electorals mm. and governance. Mm. Uh, again, I can meet people who are in Daystar with mm. Ngoro, mm. KND, mm. Kanja, mm. and they are running uh sub unit the sub departments in the church as mm. well. Mm. Hey, I worked. I gave mm. I gave my life to God. Mm-hmm. That, let me tell you, mm. I did. Now look, mm. looking back, I'm like I served, mm. and with no holding back, mm. I did not hold back, mm. and I'm glad I did. And you grew. Mm. And I as grew. A I grew as a person. Mm. Learned how to talk with people, mm. being sensitive. Mm. Uh, but you see now, all these traces back, maybe to when I was in the senior, because mm-hmm. I've been exposed to a different. Uh, uh community mm-hmm. you can't judge listen to them mm-hmm. years later mm-hmm. you're coming to meet these uh, people or a person who comes to church they probably left cani mm-hmm. carnivore mm-hmm. uh, high as a kite mm-hmm. but they are ready to listen to the word of god mm-hmm. then they go home and treat the hangover mm-hmm. it's not your place mm-hmm. to be say my jesus right. let the holy spirit do his work but extend love mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. give him that bottle of water mm-hmm. <laughs> allow him to listen let him sit or let her sit where she wants to mm-hmm. sit mm-hmm. and yeah meeting people and i've seen lives like those transformed and they're the ones who give their all mm-hmm. when they get to because mm-hmm. you took care of them yeah What's yeah. that quote about? It's not what you say, but it's how you make people feel. See, it is exactly yeah. that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it is exactly that. Mm-hmm. Right. So this year, uh, six years. You yes, six six, six, six years. years. And 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 so you're progressing. What what years are those? So I started my master's in 2005. Yeah. 2006 is when I joined um, Mavuno downtown. downtown. Yeah. So left, I think, sometime in 2012. Ah. All right. Yeah. Ah, so a lot of life events have also happened. Yeah, actually, 2013. Yes, a lot of life events uh-huh. have already ma- happened. In between there, I get married. I'm like, oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> In 2010. Yes. And that's also a, a significant uh, time. Yeah. But allow me to just preach because, <laughs> <laughs> you know, getting into quote unquote an unknown area. Yeah. But then the. The Bible says, he who finds a wife yeah. finds a good thing. Yeah. So I sit and, and I think, so are we already built as wife? Uh-huh. So when you come and get into union with the right person, mm-hmm. so you become the good thing. I don't know, maybe that's a discussion with a senior bishop. Mm-hmm. I would love to hear what uh, pastor, uh, I call him bishop, Bishop mm-hmm. Kula and the rest <laughs> yeah. will say about that. Yeah. yeah, so get married. Yeah. And I remember... Yeah. So all this time, let me tell you, I had not, I had purposed. Mm-hmm. I remember making a resolution when I was in pre-unit mm. that I would never get married. Mm. Not because, not because I had seen bad marriages. Mm. As a matter of fact, I was surrounded by very stable mm. and loving relationships mm. and families. Mm. I remember where I was standing at State House Primary. Mm. And at, at pre-unit, pre-unit. Pre- mm. I remember mm. what I was wearing. Mm. And I made that resolution. Mm-hmm. When I go to Daystar, mm. which is X years later, mm. and I see all these lovely, lovely Joyce and your facey having mm. nice moments, like, okay, maybe I'll give this thing a chance. Mm. But God, if I'm not married by the time I'm 30, mm. forget about it. If you don't get it, mm. <laughs> forget, forget about, about it. it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't date. Mm. I mean, I. <laughs> I think I broke a couple of hearts, but mm. it's all right. Mm. Um, so I don't date mm. all that well. Mm-hmm. Uh, then you come to Mombasa mm-hmm. and you say, hey, can we be friends? Mm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like roll eyes. Mm. And then little did I know friendship will lead to mm-hmm. marriage in mm. uh, in 2010. Mm-hmm. So literally 
my first and last boyfriend hopefully <laughs> is uh, what yourself mm-hmm. eric gitao mm-hmm. and uh, yeah mm-hmm. get married mm-hmm. and mm. yeah 2010 by, by 2012 there there had been ups and downs yeah. breakups and a child and a child yes by 2012 and i think mm. the separation did us well mm. I, i think for me it mm. did it did me well mm. uh but i say it's not for everyone mm. uh please note because i don't fit the box i was a church worker <laughs> already in a separated marriage mm. a kind of handing over the reins of the marriage ministry to someone else because yeah. it was in my doc so you see all these oxymoron things happening yeah. uh, working in church mm. and really frontline because mm. then uh, i was very instrumental in mm. how services were being done and stuff mm. So yeah, I'm grateful for that moment also because uh um, Mavuno gave me a chance to be able to be a mom. Mm. And mm. Uh, again, I'm grateful so much for Pastor Kiama and his lovely wife, mm. uh Mrs. Waboy Kiama. Mm. And uh, just embracing me, um allowing me to go through support. the moments, yeah, mm. the support mm. which later I came to realize mm. I needed because it was an ugly thing called postpartum depression mm. i had never heard about it mm. Mm. until i be- i came into mm. motherhood mm. um yeah so that was a significant period time yeah